Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. I just thought that I would show you guys how I deal with my chronic pain on a day to day basis in this Get Ready With Me video. And if you have chronic pain or any uh, chronic illnesses or symptoms, then you definitely would know that it really does change the way that you live your life. So it always takes me a while to get out of bed in the morning, especially with my pain getting a little worse than it used to be. So I always start my day by stretching and really just trying to get everything back in place and wake myself up a little bit. Of course, that sometimes means cracking my knuckles, my neck, things like that. Uh, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and that actually causes my joints to kind of get out of place a lot of the time. So that always helps me uh, kind of get things back into place and get my day started. I also always keep water by my bedside so I can always start my day with some hydration. And then on a bad chronic pain day, I always use as many uh, pain relieving products as I can. So this is just a lotion by Dr. Teal's. And this has eucalyptus and spearmint in it, which just kind of helps relax my muscles a little bit. I also always keep some Tums right by my bedside because I also get a lot of stomach symptoms that aren't so fun, so that helps a little bit with that. Then around this time of the year when a lot of people are getting sick, I like to just take these medicated fruit drops. They kind of just help fight against the common cold, things like that. then normally go ahead and start by washing my face and this is just using a St. Ives cleansing stick. This is really nice to use because all you have to do is just wet your face and then kind of add it on, lather, wash it off. So it's a very quick and easy process. that I just use this witch hazel toner with rose water in it and this just kind of helps calm down my skin a little bit because I'm really prone to redness. Then I just let that dry a little bit. Once that's pretty dry and soaked into my skin I'm just using this facial spray by Mario Badescu and that has aloe, cucumber, and green tea in it. Since I'm prone to very dry skin, I just like adding that before I use my e.l.f. daily moisturizer. Um, and that just helps me kind of retain that moisture a little bit more in my skin during these cold months that are upon us suddenly. Then of course, I always brush my teeth in the morning and, you know, nothing special about that. And as someone that has always hated flossing, I've actually started using these little, uh, I think they're called flossing sticks, and they're just uh, a little easier for me to use. Then the first thing I do after I finally get myself out of bed is go look for my cats and see what they're up to. Of course, that means going all the way downstairs and making sure that they have food and water and that they're set for the day. Then once I know they're all good, I normally grab an ice pack and just kind of ice any joints or any muscles that have been giving me some problems. And I normally do this while just watching TV, scrolling through my phone, kind of just hanging out. King gets a good amount of attention because he's a pretty needy cat. I then go about my day and take my supplements and some medications. And this one is just for mental clarity and brain health and that's actually made from a lot of different types of mushrooms. Then on a bad pain day I normally take some Mytol or Advil just to help with that. honestly not too hungry in the morning, so I normally stick with just smaller snacks like peanut butter for some protein. And I'm not the best at staying hydrated, so I always just try to drink as much water as I can in the morning just to help myself out a little bit later on. 
So one of my favorite snacks is pickles, and as someone that's very prone to fainting, it always helps to have a little bit of sodium in the morning. So, a nice snack that's also a little helpful to me. If it's a bad pain day like today, then I normally grab something a little bit more moldable than my typical ice pack, like some frozen edamame, and I go back to bed and just kind of ice those joints and problem areas. Normally, Arcane likes to join me for this, and his favorite spot is actually just on my ribs or on my side, pretty much anywhere that he can be a little bit in the way. But he's honestly my best friend, so I can't really be mad at him. more supplements actually and one of them is just this tart cherry with turmeric supplement and then the other one is vegetarian glucosamine and both of these are really good for joint health and anti-inflammation however they honestly don't taste the best so I typically have these after I eat otherwise they make me a little too nauseous And once I'm hydrated and fed, I like to do a little bit of yoga just to jumpstart my day. And this actually helps me get some of my joints more in place than I can with just stretching, uh, since yoga is pretty much just about aligning your body properly. And it also helps strengthen my muscles a little bit to better support my joints and stop them from popping out of place as much. As someone that overheats very easily and has some problems with temperature regulations, it's always good for me to check the temperature and make sure that I am very well prepared for it. Then something I do every day is just fill in my eyebrows a little bit, and I typically don't wear much makeup, but I like my brows pretty thick, so this is definitely something I do every day, and I just use e.l.f.'s eyebrow palette in medium. And then I'm all ready to go about my day. I post every Sunday and sometimes on Wednesday. If you'd like to see more content, then please hit subscribe. Bye guys, see you later. Problems with lip burps, can't find my parents' house now. They're all looking the same way, all those weird Bradley fake smiles. There's some problems in the suburbs with the suicidal.